finger at that. What I'm talking about. Yeah. Here we are at a rundown Burger King. <laughs> now we're going to get your bottom, man. We're going to check it out. We just got out of the meeting. Jacob said it's got 4.5 stars. We're about to see. It. That's the way they cut it. That was, sure? a, that was worst case scenario, yeah. man. I don't know. Somebody may have cut this and like the inside of it, and then they bit it. Cause them were like two floors right here. I can't believe, bro. Hell yeah, they did. Yeah. Man, wow. Man. I'm good. Yeah, no. Oh, that is the one thing. Hey, they can tie an FG knot. <laughs> Me, I can't tie none. I can't tie a damn knot. That's unbelievable. He's over here, damn, getting eggs and balancing them and all this. I can't even tie an FG knot. I tied seven of them today. It took me four hours. I was wondering why you didn't go fishing today. That was what it was. Hey, look, look, count me out. If you want me to do anything within 24 hours and I got FG knots to tie, I'm done. Don't. It's like homework. He's got, he's got his work. He's got to study. You know when you got lines like in middle school, like, hey, you got a thousand lines or 250 lines when you got in trouble? I can't do nothing. I got a thousand lines to write. That's FG knots. I got seven of them. It's like, it's like, lobbing. That's weird. Yeah. All right, here we go. Y'all rank it. Zero to ten. What was the Japanese food? The hibachi. The hibachi. A six out of a ten. I think you might. Man. I'm going to give it a suggestion. I don't think it was that, I don't think it was that tight. Tight. <laughs> That's old school. <laughs> I think it was that tight. <laughs> 94. I, I thought you can't jump. That's like, 2000, that's like 2002, like 12 years old. Man, like, that's man, tight. That's tight, man. Okay, there's two things. I'm going to give him a 7.2. The guy was really skillful. He was good. He cooked really good. The food was great. He put too much sauce. He did way too much. Way too much sauce. Other than that, chicken was cooked good. They didn't give him my shrimp like I wanted. They didn't, they didn't pay for it. They tried to charge you for they it. They tried to charge you for it. The waitress. Not really that good. She was trash. She was trying to rush everything. We're rating the hibachi. Give us the rating. Huh. I got the, the rating is yum yum sauce. Because that's all you ate. That's all they no, had. No, it wasn't a yum yum. It was that teriyaki. Yeah, he put teriyaki on everything, bro. He did the no look squirt, bro. He was putting it on the food over here, and then he looked this way and just kept squeezing it. <laughs> Subway with a mayonnaise bottle. Exactly. Hey, uh, hey something else. Mayonnaise. Hey, like that almost blows your hair. Hey, back. is that enough? Yes. Bro, that's bad. <laughs> is that enough? Bro. Here's what I'm gonna do from now. Here, here's what I'm saying. I'm gonna say, I want mayonnaise, but put it on there like you would put it on your sandwich. That's not quite a good look to do. Uh, because I, if they, I, put I, it, I don't know about that. One, but I don't know, you guys. I, I mean, I don't know, bro. Killing y'all. It's like. Yes. It's literally like they dumped the whole like I got branch bottle of anyway. Like a uh, whole, okay, we're no. sorry, we're getting on it. I said seven point well, two. Well I didn't eat a lot of stuff y'all ate. Yo, seven point two? Seven point two. I called him a six out of a ten. Yeah, I was gonna give him probably like a high five, five eight. The visual when we first rolled in, uh, the Terrible. debris coming off the look. Usually you got like debris and like fall leaves hanging off the side of the No, they got roof. grease hanging they off the They got <laughs> grease <laughs> dripping off the roof, bro. I'm like <laughs> I'm talking about. Like, ain't nobody gonna get up there and scrape that off. Like, she nobody. Sure you need a whole new board. damn roof. Hey, that's unbelievable. Yeah, practice starts tomorrow morning. What y'all thinking? I think this is this is the facts behind the this is the facts behind the man. Mark, you're locked in for anger. You're locked in for dang red crash. Am I? How you I I'm that? A, you're pretty much you, as long as you don't suck the next two. Like, you just have to go in the middle of the pack. I'm sitting trying to battle an anger of the year. DC now he's like 15 points on the cut. I'm 17. Get your numbers right. Ah, oh. See, no. So 17 points. Dustin, all screwed me it's up. a very important tournament for oh, DC. Uh, so, you guys oh, are going to see him dressed out or very hey, happy. He's trying to hype up some bull****. <laughs> 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 he's trying to hype. Uh -uh. I'm tired of him trying to hype up some stuff. We got two derbies left. Every derby matters, okay? Darbone was trash. <laughs> I had two trash. I don't remember the past. 
No live in the past. Oh, it ain't gonna live in the past. Hey, we got live in the future, bro. We almost won Red Chris and heavy hitters, and none of them have points to them. I, I did good in the wrong tournament. <laughs> regular season the right, tournament, the right tournament. You're, you're fine. You, you, you won an eight regular season event this year. Yeah, you kill it. Hey, we got two, two northern tournaments, though. We got Mill Ice, which... This one right here, I'm telling y'all, I don't really give, I don't give a damn what section of points you're in. This one could be a... It could be very great to you, and it could be tough for anybody. It's going to be someone who gets fortunate enough to find the right area and they just milk it. That's just gonna, what it's going to be. But Northern fisheries, it is always area and spot related. Very much so. Mm -hmm. This one, you have a giant fly on the northern end of the lake that you're literally talking about grasses everywhere and you're looking for a small group of fish the size you they literally they're sitting in the area maybe the size of your boat it's an you don't make the right cast you literally you go over the winning spot and not even know it yes so the, so the, so the wild card for this event is a smallmouth normally you go up north smallmouth fisheries dustin's done really well i deal i seem, seem to do pretty well the whole the whole house seems to do pretty well at smallmouth small fisheries in general mm -hmm. and this one i'm not going to say it's a coin smallmouth fishery yes the state record smallmouth was caught out of here this spring but overall, it seems like after the fish spawn, they seem to vanish. The population of smallmouth is, there's some big ones, but it's not necessarily known for a smallmouth. So that's the wild card. And the cool thing about that is typically, you know, if you can find some right, the right rocks, bigger rock, or you, know, you can constantly find the smallmouth that are concentrated, but then there's less of them. So then you're like, you know, it's, it's a very unknown of how you, you, what's the guarantee to get a check this week? We fished a cup here a few years back. It was in August. <laughs> and completely we're not on the juice. We were fishing shallow. I think I caught like two, no, I caught two or three fish all day long. All day. Yeah, I did too. I mean, I caught like one or two. He caught three in the morning and I think he- I caught, never caught another one. He never, he caught three the first hour. And he never weighed another bass all day. No, they had one more, that's it. Yeah, they had like one more. I caught like one or two all day. But, and then you got a couple other guys that were sitting out, they ran straight to the juice because they had not been here before. They run straight to the little zone where they knew they could go and they caught 60 pounds. And they were sitting here going in a little football field area, just going back and forth. So we're in group A this week and I feel like if you find that right little area, you can milk it, milk it and, and easily make the cut in one day. You just gotta fish. We got two days practice, find them. And y'all look who just hey! rolled up. Listen, no fishing rods, none Versus of that. Cargo, baby. Damn, boys, you got some food in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're putting that on the video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all gonna settle in. Practice starts in the morning. Yeah, who bought some? This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna get after it. Y'all stay tuned. Who bought? I got all this meat. Look at all that meat. This right here is getting it good at Walmart was the move, son. This is better and this ain't no What's that called? Land of lakes? Pre-packaged, pre-cut. Land of frost. Yeah. Is that real custom stuff? Ding. We're gonna be out there 14 hours. I got two sandwiches. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. If it ain't, I'm gonna be calling for help. Thing on there. Huh? Mm. See, I'll put me in a bind. I gotta sit here and hold my stuff. Fine, I'll just hold. You pump me fast. It's like, I'm telling you, it's like work. This is like work every morning. All right, guys, here we go. Day one practice on Lake Cayuga. If you pan to this way, that's Cayuga. I'm about to be out there for 15 hours, baby. It's 6 o'clock. I'm getting off the water at 9. Let's go find a few bass. <laughs>
Freaking smallmouth, dude. Oh my god. Man, forget these stinking largemouth. I'm going after these giant freaking toad smallmouth. Un freaking bowl. That's a giant. <laughs> god dang, I gotta see how much that son of a gun weighs. Six. Five. Six five. That's like my PB. <laughs> Six five. That's a giant boy. Oh, so let's break it go. <laughs> I mean a giant. Giant small. Oh my god. Oh, they grouped up. I, I swear I will I will smallmouth fish the whole time in this tournament. There's like big groups of them. So 11. There's like 15 or 20 down there. Same freaking school. Oh my interesting baby I'm doing this for the rest of this term a hundred percent right that's a two pounder baby <laughs> two pounds two ounces boom baby hey they 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 be doing this damn I had one bite me on my lip at St. Clair one time, out in the middle of St. Clair. I lean over, and this joker stings the door. Look at him. I'm gonna show y'all something. You ready? I didn't do nothing to him. His stinger is gone, because it was in my damn leg. I hope a brim eats you. All right, guys, here we are, back on the water, day two on Lake Cayuga. I don't know, man. I feel really good about it. You know, uh, I caught some smallmouth yesterday. Some freaking giant ones. I caught a 6'5". Unbelievable. I never thought it was going to be like big giant ones like that. I mean, I had like a, I could have had a big, 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 big bag of smallmouth yesterday, and I, that's good. Because if you look around here in just a minute, there's freaking boats everywhere. They're everywhere. And unless you just get lucky and find the right little area, a right little stretch, I don't know how you're really gonna separate yourself. So that's a good thing. But also this is known for a largemouth fishery. I have to find a largemouth to, to have a backup and a primary plan also. So I don't know. I feel good about it. We're gonna go largemouth fishing most of the day. I think the last like three hours today, I'm gonna run around smallmouth fish. So let's get at it.
It's right in front of me, everybody. surrounded by about 30 boats. Yeah, only. Man, I've really found a sneaky hole right here. You know, you know that, that glory spot where you're like, God, nobody see me. There's a sneaky spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty. There's only 80 guys in the field and there's only 40 of them in this one little area. But here's the thing. So, I'm on that juice. This <laughs> <laughs> There's boats everywhere. Same type of stuff? Yeah. Well, what made you want to change it to the crankbait? Well, I think I can cover more water. So this is one of those deals where I knew that I had to find, you know, something extra. And There's one chasing me right now. And 
Like I love that smallmouth bill. Don't get me wrong. Like it's fire. And I mean pretty good. But it's a very sketchy deal. Very sketchy. And I don't like that. So that's one of them deals where if you can get on four, two or three different patterns, you know, I'm catching some out there deep on the drop shot. Decided to pick up a crankbait and check it. It's a little cloudy, got a little wind. And I can see them on this active target literally when they eat it. And I'm tracking my bait right over the tops of that grass. I do not like throwing crankbaits low key. But if there's three and a half pounders munching them, then that's what we'll do. You know, I mean, there's one right there, right on top of that. I've just got to have a bunch of areas. So we're gonna leave this spot. Go check some other stuff. I love catching smallmouth, but they will burn you, son. I have been burnt by them several times. And I ain't gonna let that happen in this tournament. <laughs> you think I'm on a good deal or what? <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> I'm not even doing this no more. <laughs> Look how thick they are, dude. Look at that. They are just absolute freaking tanks. Oh, I guess my adrenaline rushing. <laughs> I didn't even know we had moved to smallmouth. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't take long, did it? <laughs> 478. I caught, listen, I caught 10 of them that big yesterday. <laughs> Let's move along. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I mean, absolute freaking giant. Four pounder. I may do this all day. I don't know anywhere else I can go catch it. Smallish. That's a strong one. Check him. Check him twice. Hey. Yeah. Dude. If you had to bet a million dollars in Vegas tomorrow, how many bass is DC gonna catch? You gotta do this. two. Two. How many scoreables is Dustin Connell? Dusty gonna catch. I'm going to say fifteen. Fifteen squirrel. That's sixty pounds. Jeez. That's thirty pounds. Two pound minimum. No, you're going to have three pounds. Fifteen. Ah, uh, it's not too dead. It's forty-five. 
Yeah. yeah. My goal is five, five and a, five a period. Five a period. Yeah, that's right. Five a period. Yeah, you'll be all right. I, I do all think, right. I do think at one point tomorrow I'm gonna drop five times and catch five three and a half to four, four and a half pounds smallmouth. I do think that might happen. <laughs> that wraps up practice. We have rigged most of the rods. I got like one or two more I want to rig. I don't know. I don't know. It's one of them deals you get out there and you practice and you're like, all right, I've won practice a lot. Not saying I won this practice at all. I'm just saying I, I feel good about it, but I have seen tournaments that I feel good about and they turn out crappy. I, I've had great practices, but I mean, it's just one of them deals. I feel like that's the best option for me. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pitch around. Pan around, pitch around. Bang around, beat around. Derby starts tomorrow. <sighs> I got six hex spinning rods. I got two more over here. 12 pound gold label on there and I got me a couple crankbaits I can't think of nothing else that I need so I feel good about it y'all stay tuned we shall see I might be the only man out there fishing for smallmouth I didn't see many people doing it so it could be special it could suck I could be that dummy that's out there floating around like what the crap so I don't know we shall see Y'all stay tuned. I appreciate you tuning in. The next video we got is day one at Cayuga, okay? I don't know. We need a top 10 on this deal. Y'all stay tuned. Appreciate you.